Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 3. Today we are on the busy Bakerloo line. Um, and we're going to be just taking this little little service down to Elephant and Castle. So let us get straight in. We'll set the train up. So we're going to Elephant and Castle. Coach lighting on. Gauge lights on. Control key in and on. Select the switch to the forward position. We'll jump to the back of the train. Set this to Elephant and Castle. And we'll stick the stab light on. Okay, now as soon as we have the route... We will be able to enter the platform. This is a, uh, since the um, new timetable, this has been a really, uh, the favourite route of mine. Because um, it's just so busy, especially the Queen's Park area. There's so much stuff going on, you know, there's trains coming and going. There's a train in the platform, there's a train waiting to come into the platform. There's a train immediately outside the platform. There's a train that's just about to enter the area, a train that's just left. We are waiting, um, we've got about 30 more seconds, I suspect we're going to be held, actually we might not be because this train is on the move, I presume this train wants to come into our road, <coughs> um, so we'll just, let's just ponder here for the little bit, uh, we'll set, leave a bit of brake on. And we'll see. We'll see if we get the route. Pull out of the shed. Have the route. Yes. Uh, speed limit is 10 mile an hour starting off. There we go. No, that's brake. Come on, off and release, there you go. Nice. <coughs> oh, look at how close the trains get together. That is so cool. Okay, and let's go pull right up to the end of the platform. There we go. Bang on time. Okay, and we've got just a little bit left. get the door set to closed. Starting signal is clear. And that's 10 mile an hour. Okay, and just watch the speed on this descent. Come on, a bit of power. And there's 35, we'll get straight up to that. just knock the uh, camera down a little bit come on and we're at 35 so just watch the speed now thirty six come on Ah, come on, Max. There you go. Emergency. Ugh. There you go. Fantastic. Lovely. That's 
I wasn't at all worried there. That was a perfectly calculated. Everything was done very correct. That's right. Let's go. <coughs> go. Next stop, Maida Vale. I've just pulled up a signalling diagram to help understand this mess. Baker Street. Here we go. Right, coming into Maida Vale. We'll pass signal Alpha 475 on the right hand side. Okay, <coughs> coming into the platform. Leave it in min break now. See, that's a much nicer approach. Still a few seconds late. That's the most underground thing, isn't it? A few seconds late. Now, I've been wondering, I reckon this line, uh, this route has had a bit of an upgrade because, um, I, I mean, I don't know if it's probably just for the Train Sim World's three uh, visuals, but it looks much more realistic, uh, the lighting. It looks very nice, um, and the shadows are very, very good as well. Anyway. Oh, that's on the wrong side, isn't it? Shit. Right, fantastic. That wasn't at all, at all a failure. Right, passing signal, Alpha 471. And then Alpha 4711. a 30 mile an hour speed restriction. Rike Avenue coming up next. That'll be Romeo 466 signal. I'm speeding a bit there. Which is the repeater for Alpha 465 signal. There is Alpha 465. Coming back up to 35 mile an hour. Okay, and we'll cruise in now. Come on, stop. Stop. Ah. Right, that was sort of what I was expecting, hoping not to happen. Um, right, well, we'll... This will add a bit of a delay, won't it? Uh, reverse lockout. Back we go. Very professional. They do this, they do this all the time. Happens on the, on the daily. On the, on the old, on the old tube. Really does. I, I'm, I'm, obviously I'm not lying there. Uh, that has cleared, hasn't it? Yes, good. Okay, right, we're a minute late now. <coughs> okay, and next, uh, next station is Paddington. To pass... Uh, repeater Bravo Delta 1. <coughs> On the right hand tunnel wall there. <laughs> 25 mile an hour restriction coming in. Now we have. Uh, Bravo Delta 1 and Romeo Bravo Delta 2 mounted together. Now we have 
Bravo Delta 2 signal protecting the crossovers. I didn't slow down for that 25, did I? Just too focused reading out the signals. Okay, right. So I think the stations have got general texturing updates as well, although that could just be me not knowing anything. So we got starting signal Bravo Delta 2 again, apparently, and we're ahead of time. Okay, next stop Edgware Road, we're passing Alpha 4511. And mounted together Alpha 4512 and Romeo 445 here. I can go up to 35, didn't realise that. I got Alpha 445 and Edgeware Road coming into view. Cruise again. There we go. Okay, you just got a little bit to go before Marlebon. Starting signal Alpha four four one. There we go. Then up ahead, Alpha 435. There you go, 435. We at 30. Oh, 25. Okay. Well, I should pay attention more. Right, Marylebone. Cruising in. Rio 1 hold. And we'll just leave it there. go 15 seconds late not too bad now I get a bit messy here tracks wise you got the junction with the Jubilee line alpha 431 is the starting speed uh, starting signal we've got starting speed at 25 bar an hour that's cool isn't it Okay, back into the single bore. And then here we have Alpha 425. And then Bravo Mike 4, which protects the platform. So I feel like the station signage has gotten a, a bit better. It, it, it just feels so much more realistic. It feels like I'm actually driving in the underground. Whereas before I thought some of the 
one of the, some of the textures are a bit off but like here that is very underground and I mean some of the colors there are off but it's not bad okay signal Bravo Mike 5 which protects the um, junction with the um, southbound Jubilee line is clear <coughs> There it is, there's the junction. Right up to 30 mile an hour. Next stop is Regent's Park and the next signal signals are Romeo 395 mounted together with Alpha 4011. Um, Romeo signals are repeaters, by the way, so they only go um, green or yellow. And alpha signals are automatic, and Bravo signals are semi-automatic, so they're controlled by a man. That would have been Alpha 395 signal, and we're entering Regent's Park platform. I love the tiling at these stations. But you see here, like that doesn't feel right. That signage there. <coughs> I don't really like how those textures merge, but you know, it's alright. I like the roundels on the CCTV cameras. But I mean, that feels, that looks wrong. It, it looks like a sort of stretched version of the font. Okay, starting signal, Alpha 391. Next station is Oxford Circus. <sighs> starting speed, still 30. Right, there's 30. Coming up now would be Alpha 387 signal and then immediately behind it, Romeo 385 signal. Coming down to the 25 mile an hour limit. There. There's a repeater. And then there is Alpha 385 signal. That's a 20 limit. Oh, well, I'm doing 20. And Romeo 385 signal. And there is Alpha um, 383. If you want me to do an actual route learning guide to the Bakerloo line, I'd be more than happy to. Because it's a, it's a very complicated route. But once you get the hang of it, it's very... Very fun, very rewarding. But there's um there's plenty of signalling diagrams available that are still still valid that show um the whole route and they're very fun to drive along with. I'll stop calling out the signals now because it's I suspect it's getting a bit annoying. Right, Oxford Circus. I'll focus on driving better. Okay, so we've got Piccadilly Circus, Charion Cross, Embankment, Waterloo, Lambeth North, and Elephant and Castle. Okay, bang on time. <coughs> I mean, this is my most played route, and it really shows, it, it, it is... I just, I love it so much. I love stop-start routes. I am, am I speeding? Yes. That's not very good. Okay, watch the speed. Hope I can still scrape a gold medal out of this. 
Hopefully, because all of the stopping is pretty good. Yeah, 500. Very close to 500. So I presume the actual... They go up to 30 there. So I presume the um, speeding disqualifications it won't be that bad. <coughs> okay, Piccadilly Circus. This is the worst bit of the route by far, is this awful junction. It is pretty cool seeing another train there. But uh, that, that, that junction is awful. I mean, see, see, see what I mean by this the new texture, uh, new lighting? It looks much nicer now than it does in Train Sim World, um, Train Sim World 2. Um, like that, those roofs, they actually, the shadows extend all the way around and it's a much more pale white light. Rather, the old line was very warm, I feel. If I'm just completely mad and nothing's changed, let me know because that's probably what's happened. Okay, we're a bit late, uh, a bit early here, so we'll regulate. Will we? No, let's not. Let's not bother. Let's try and catch up to the train in front. <coughs> Speed limit, 25. Proper flange squeal there. Can hardly hear myself talk. Twenty six. Coming down to twenty through Charing Cross. Come into the platform. Let's get in series. A sharp brake application there. There we go. Akaloo line southbound. Please stand clear of the doors. Lovely. And as we fade further into the darkness, still at twenty miles an hour. Yep. Float at 19 here. I believe this is a downgrade, isn't it? Yeah, consistent downgrade into embankment. <coughs> and then just after the end of the platform, we should be able to go back up to 35. It's crept up to 21, so I'll bring that back down. Here we are, embankment. There's some very nice artwork there. There you go. Yeah, let's have a look at that art. See, that looks that looks like an actual tube font, and that the line is the correct thickness. Previously, these were all stretched and out of proportion. Right, off we go. Where's this train out of us? Right, I think we're catching on it. <coughs> Okay, there's 20 up to 35. <sighs> Lovely. Down to 25. And uh, we'll just float here. 
Back up to 25, please. Through Waterloo. Don't want to spad here. Don't want to overrun. Light breaking through the platform. Right up to the end. Max brake application. Then off. There we go. There's Waterloo. Our train is... There you go. Lovely. And we are now catching. <coughs> we are gaining. Let's get some red signal action. There you go, up to 30. All the way. There's 25. Clear signals, I don't like them. I prefer if they weren't clear. Quickly pull it back down to 25. Crossover cavern. <coughs> and into the platform. Lovely Lambeth North. It is actually relatively faithful to real life, although the walls are much less clean than this. Here we go. Our train is just approaching Elephant and Castle. Spin it round. Let's get going. Up to 30. That's 25. Pull it back to that. Now you've got a 10 mile an hour speed limit which indicates that we're being the current route is set for the crossovers now when our actual route is set we'll see that one yeah here you go red signal when our actual route is set you'll see um that 10 mile an hour changes to 15 mile an hour because the 10 mile hour is over the crossovers of which we are not set to travel because that's the current line is set for us to be taken into this platform um, but once this train comes in the points will change and they'll send us into this one <coughs> so you should be able to see the train ahead and that'll cross over there you go And as soon as he is out of the junction, I can get moving. Right. Taking power. There we go. So you can see that has gone from 10 to 20. And it'll be 15, is it, through the platform road? No, it isn't. Okay. 20 throughout. And there's the train we were trailing the whole time. Pull right up.
There we go. Rio hold. Emergency. Unlocked. There you go. Shut down. Lovely. All right. Gold medal, gold medal, gold medal. Come on. Gold medal. Yes. There you go. Level 367. Level 37 on the Bakerloo line and 67 on the 72 stop. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.